beautiful. Welcome again to the Speak to Sell Yourself and Your Business show, everybody. We've got an incredible session today. Remember, we are live every Thursday starting at 10 a.m. UK time. And if, for example, you are in the States, Latin America, or you are all the way in Australia, I say all the way, I see, you know, because I'm pointing there, America, <laughs> and then there we're looking at this, uh, uh, Australia, New Zealand, even India. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you haven't got time to watch it live, then watch the replay, which is going to be available here. Well, here, when I say here in the Facebook community, and also we're going to be sharing this recording. The incredible Rasmus is going to be sending you an email with this recording this Saturday. So you can actually watch it, rewatch it, and take all of these great gems that Herman is going to be sharing with you, with you today. I'm speaking very fast as usual. So let me just come down, take a deep breath before we introduce our guest speaker of the day. So first of all, what is the Speak to Sell Yourself and Your Business show? In case you haven't heard of it yet, which I'm sure you have, but if you find us somewhere and you're wondering, what does these guys do? Well, we run this show every Thursday, 10 a.m., and we touch on all things that will help you to speak, to sell, to grow your business. But say you are not running your business yet, but you are in business, this will help you move up the business ladder because we touch on advanced communication skills, how to present yourself with impact, how to craft your pitch, or how to craft a presentation that you want to give and deliver to your employees if you're a manager, if you're a leader, how to craft your mission, your vision, and present it in a way that's persuasive, that positively influences people, that then people go and take action, because that's what we want as communicators, to positively influence others, okay? And today, because we, it's just not what we do when we speak, it's all the body language, because remember, we're always communicating, so we've got the body language. Uh, Jose, I'm going to mute you. Okay, there we go, muted. So I think you're moving some chairs in the background. So it's not just when we speak and use the microphone and use this channel here, but also videos are a powerful tool, which is what we're going to be touching on today. And then also the written words, so the copywriting. How do we engage our audiences? Once we have that clear message that we help you craft, how do we then send it? Help that message to reach our audiences. And there are different channels that we're going to be covering here and there is much more. So if you want to get in touch, you know the drill, you drop us a message. Uh, there is also the option, you will receive an email. You can book a direct call with us, strategy call that we like to call it. And I know we've got now, Eda is joining us all the way from Australia. Welcome, Eda, to the Speak to Sell Yourself and Your Business show. And Herman, take it away. By the way, people, Herman is not only my brother, my younger brother, I know. I'm talking a lot this morning. I think I haven't been in front of the camera this morning. So, oh, wow. yeah, I haven't been in front of the camera since yesterday. And I needed, I was craving this opportunity. Woo! So if you look at all of my videos, all of, well, all of them, the ones that have been edited and the ones that you can see, they are not just Zoom, you know, videos have been done by my brother. He helped me create all of the videos for the World Class Communicator online training course, which has reached more than 40,000 people worldwide. He also helped me with my latest promotion of video, previous promotion of videos. Everything that you see out there that is great has been crafted by my brother. And now we have a team of people helping us in the background as well. Nowadays, and Herman, I don't know if I've shared this with you, I received, well, I, I do two things. I received sometimes inquiries of people wanting me to speak or deliver training, and I also look for inquiries. So it's kind of the push-pull. And either way, when I send information, I always attach one of your videos, and okay. most specifically, the latest video you've created. And then even if I'm not the right fit, it prompts a presentation and people like it. They comment on it. And then we have a conversation and they usually say, look, I wish I had an opportunity or when the opportunity comes, we'll think of you. Even, <laughs> even I used it, I've been delivering and then we get started people, but this is the importance behind videos and not just high quality videos in terms of resolution that they look pretty. The impact of the message you deliver and how you deliver it. And Eda is saying, go Herman, go Eda, go, it's one of you, woo! And that is the impact. That is the importance. And Herman, so they said, I've been delivering uh, trainings around resilience, mindset, mental, mental health, well-being. And I said to them, look, I've got this. This is my latest video. I just wanted to share it with you. All I did, Herman, was send them the video. You know what they did? 
because I haven't spoken to you about this. They said to me, let's just plan something for next year. And we already put a program together that we're starting next year. So we're starting to promote it next year. And there are already some, <laughs> some sessions booked to promote it. Just, I, I only send the video, just did, like copy paste the link from YouTube. And I said, there you go, guys, my latest video. And that's what I got in return. So I think, yeah, I'm not going to say anything else. I'm going to pass on the mic. I'm going to shut up. You take it away. Can you share the screen and everything else? Have you got all the controls and everything you need? Um, yeah, just let me double check. Uh, yeah, I can. I can share the screen. And I wanted Look, to Rashmi, say that. Rashmi is so happy. That I think that she's crying as well of excitement. No worries, Rashmi. Would you there like we a... Go. We love you, Rashmi. We will always love you. <laughs> Our love will go on. <laughs> Woo! Welcome to the Speak to Sell Yourself and Your Business show. <laughs> I need to work on my voice in there. Okay. People watching this on replay, you can fast forward to how many minutes we've done so far, maybe two, three, four, five minutes. But now what I've shared with you is the importance of having powerful videos. And now my brother is going to take it away. One. And I'll shut up. What do you want? Edda. Yeah, we do. Oh. I think Edda, Edda is talking to her children or someone else. So she's whispering. <laughs> <laughs> well, Edda, I muted Edda. you. You kind of mute yourself when you're ready. Herman, over to you, good brother. Yeah. Well, well the first thing that I wanted to share after, <laughs> after what you said was like, that's the main intention, just to create a impact with that video, just to create no more, just a experience for people watching the video. It's not, it's not just about a video, just to post a content on, on the internet. It's about having that, um, CV or that business card, I like to call it, it's like a business card, a good promo video. So, well, let me start with the session. Let me prepare here the screen. Can you see my screen? Yeah, can see you. Oh, but am I sharing which screen yeah, you, am you, I sharing? You share, you share the screen. We can, see, we can see the screen, the right screen. Okay. So raise your profile, yeah. credibility, all of that. Exactly. So um, thank you very much for your intro. That's been amazing. I love you as well. You know that. And I love videos as well. That's why I'm here. Normally, I'm, <laughs> I'm normally behind the cameras today, in front of the camera, because this is so, also important as a business owner. I'm not just a videographer. I'm a business owner as well. And it's important to be out there to, to people to see you and, and see what is it that you're doing, what is it that you do every day? And also, which are your skills? That's one of the things. And um, well, I like to start this presentation always with the following. That is, that in the end, it's all about perception. And what I mean with this, we are creating impressions every day at every time. So basically, just imagine that we are joining a Zoom call. We are joining a Zoom call. We are just going to meet somebody outside, person to person. And at that moment, we are creating a first impression in that, that person we are meeting. These impressions are not neutral. They are either positive or negative at some degree. So I would like to create the best, imp the best impression possible. I wouldn't like my interlocutor look like that angry egg that we've got on the right. I would like it to look happy. Can, can I can I ask why? Why? I mean, I love this. Why did you pick eggs for it? I don't know because they. <laughs> okay. All right. They look fun in there. I, I like the one that is in the middle. Like you know, oh, it's like a surprise. Okay, it's so a, the, the impact. So you get surprised eggs when people see your videos. Exactly, surprised eggs. <laughs> no, it's it's just about the expressions, <laughs> and well, coming back to the topic, Jose. <laughs> about these impressions, we are creating impressions. So wh what is the importance of creating that first impression uh, to, to make it the, the best possible? Because I'm, I'm sure you're quite um, familiar with this, that we've got from four to seven seconds to create that first impression in our interlocutor's uh, unconscious mind. And with everything that's happening online, with all the social media, with yeah everything that we see day to day, this is even less. This time is, has come to two or three seconds that we've got to create that first impression because we are used to swipe when we are on Instagram, we, we are swiping all the time or we are scrolling down. 
we don't pay that much attention. So that's why it's becoming even more difficult person to person in real life, just to create that first impression. And online, it's even more difficult if you like, because people, what they're gonna perceive is just a picture of you or a good video or a not so good video. And with that, I'm gonna to link to the, so basically that raises a question that I would like to ask you. That is, how would you like to be perceived? How would you like to be perceived? And that question, you don't need to answer right now. Can I, can I, I take a to, picture? Yeah, you can do. And, and basically, I'm gonna, uh, well, I'm gonna present our guest, um, King Kong that has come today to help me out, creating an analogy between video creation and how would we like to be perceived. So basically, in the meantime, while you think, I'm gonna start uh, with King Kong. We've got King Kong here from two different ages, from two different years. I, I don't know, well, I know my brother is very fan of King Kong and I think this guy, the one on the left is, uh, I don't know if from the 30s or from the 50s or 60s. Well, that, the, one, the one on the left looks like our dad. <laughs> and, <laughs> I don't know what I say that. <laughs> Sorry. Poor guy. Hopefully he's not watching this. <laughs> but hey, anyway, we've got the old King Kong and we've got the, the newer version of King Kong. And what I want to, to create here is that analogy in which would you like to be perceived as the King Kong on the left? Which means the analogy here with the videos is gonna be like a handheld video, handheld shake with, with all the shakies in possibly in vertical, filming it in vertical. And with that audio that you can hear a lot of echo and you can even listen to the, to the neighbor coughing with the wrong lighting or instead, you would like to be perceived like the newest King Kong that the analogy here will be a video in which everything is planned. Everything is planned since uh, the very first step that is the, um, you know, the scripting, so crafting that message. Then we go to having a scene that looks, looks good to the eye, having the right audio so we make sure that we don't have echoes in the room. We are using the lavalier mic and so on, and we're gonna have a better result. So how would you like to be perceived? If you ask me, I want to be perceived as an authority in my field. I want to be perceived as an expert. I want to be perceived as that to-go person in my industry. That's how I would like to be perceived. And which, which one of the King Kongs are likely to allow you to achieve that? I leave it there as well for you. I've got my answer. And I would say it's this King Kong in the right. So what is that important to create that impression? That, that impression to, well, to people and on, online? Because as you know, there is a very crowded marketplace out there and it's very competitive. We've got many professional people uh, fighting for a piece of the cake that sometimes is the same cake we want we want to eat so we are using all the same tools and obviously we are creating different strategies around that but we are creating all the, we are using the same tools and we need to cut through that noise for that we need to communicate in a way that garners the attention of the people we want to attract for our businesses our potential audience and in this moment is where videos are going to play a huge, a huge uh, role in here. Because let's say, as I said before, um, a promotional video, <coughs> I was about to cough, a, a promotional video is going to be like, yeah, like a, our business card, like an online business card. You know, because if you're meeting somebody, then you give the you give the business card, but then they are seeing you, they see what's happening, they see the real thing. But online, we either see a picture, a common APR, so basically everything, but the video is the one that's gonna bring everything alive. They are gonna see you. How do you interact? How do you, how do you express yourself? What is your voice tone, etc.? That's why with 
the videos, what we are creating is a experience because we are playing with the auditive element. We are playing with the visual element. And um, also it's gonna be something very short and sweet that is gonna share as much as possible about you. And there are some statistics as well because it's not only what people is gonna see, it's about creating uh, that impact online in terms of positioning. So basically Google, social media, all these algorithms uh, like video content. And obviously the better they look, the better is gonna be the impact you're gonna create overall. So some statistics that I'm not gonna stop reading all of them, they are quite interesting. But the one that really takes my attention is that viewers retain and remember 90% of the information they saw on a video. So that means that people after watching a video, after watching your video, they're likely to remember you, something about you. They're likely to remember, again, your voice, maybe the, the super funky music you put in the background of that video. They're likely to remember. People remember me, for example, uh, for my hoodie. They remember my hoodie. Sometimes people draw me a message, oh, I love your hoodie, but somehow I am, I know I'm creating a, a impact. And <laughs> um, I'm coughing a lot. Just let me have a sip of coffee. And is that coffee or is that some alcohol? Well, it's a coffee in a, a carajillo. A nice Okay, so there's no, it's not it's the just Okay, just making just, sure. Carajillo, <laughs> carajillo, for those of you who don't understand, I think, well, I think because I don't have many carajillos. Is it with rum or whiskey? I think you can do both. Okay, I well, think you brother, can do both. I, I'll let you carry on. Maybe we can do a anyway. video on how to create a proper create a carajillo. carajillo. Yeah. Okay, we can create a nice video then. Um, what I was going to say, uh, continue to the statistics, is that... Also a promo video, let's say that we're gonna talk about the promo video because the promo video is gonna be the masterpiece. You can have different video contents, but the promo video is gonna be that one, the promotional video that is gonna show the best of the best of you or your product or your specific service. And basically what it will is just, it will give easy access to your information. Again, coming back, kind of your online business card. It's gonna increase your visibility. It's going it's gonna play as well with the algorithms on social media, Google, etc. And also it's gonna demonstrate what you're capable of basically. So again, it's about creating that great impression. That first impression has to be great. That's, that's why we are gonna dive deeper into how to create more professional videos, more professional looking videos. And linking to this, what makes a winning promo video. I pointed out three things in here. I said a powerful start that I'm gonna explain a bit uh, better afterwards. To be short and sweet and speak by itself. Do you guys, any of you have any other ideas that you would like to add in here? What makes a winning promo video? Do you have any other highlights, other uh, points? Well, I would definitely say at the end, uh, it's always important to have a clear call to action. So people, after they watch it, it's important for them to see, okay, this is, this is how I connect with Herman after watching this. Even today, after this video, I would recommend having a call to action. So her, if Herman, you know, if people want to connect with you, because that's what you did for my video at the end, I clearly explain clearly and easily. It's not like I give people 10 call to actions, connect with me here or find me here, do this. And I'm covering while you cough. You're back. Cool. That's, that's, the, that's the bit I would suggest. Also, well, it will depend on the type of video as well. But for a promotional, yeah, you said short and sweet, simple, short, succinct. Yeah. Exactly. This is just a, a very quick summary of, of what I think it has to have. It has to be. And as you said as well, well, I'm going to be explaining more or less like different structures that we can follow in order to create that nice promo video. Um, but the other thing that I wanted to add, apart from the call to action, that that is a very good point, is that that promo video 
has to have that X factor. What I mean with the X factor? That video has to show that thing that makes you connect with people. So basically what people, why people is connecting with you? Because I don't know, right? for example, I got my, my hoodie and some people text me about that. But maybe for you, Jose, it's gonna be your headphones or it's gonna be just simply your gestures, your energy, everything that you bring into every call that you make, for example, that, that's helping people to connect, to engage with, with your activities. That X factor, that is the X factor, what I mean, what makes you unique, that uniqueness, that has to be shown in the promo video. That is very important in order to really connect uh, with the audience that are watching this. And as I said, let's dive deeper a bit into a structure. And this one, for example, this is a example that is very powerful, simple to follow. And, and yeah, at the end, it's gonna, it's gonna have that call to action that you mentioned, Jose, because it's very important. It's very important. So for this structure, we're gonna have a hook. And this hook, for example, an example that comes to mind is kind of this stomp intro. So basically you've got many images coming and maybe you've got a question, for example, um, that could be, would, um, do you need videos? For example, that comes to mind right now. Do you need videos with, a, with a, you know, transitions and different images coming in and out that will hopefully hook the person to see, okay, I need videos. I connected to that question. Then I continue watching the video. Then you're gonna dive into the market pain. So basically what we spoke, if we don't have videos, we are not gonna be able to stand out. We're not gonna be able to, to become that authority that we, want to, that we want to be online. And then you introduce your unique solution. Again, with your X factor, you bring everything alive. That this is what I offer to you. Just be, be concise and, and explain yourself. Yeah, as let's say as less as possible, but being very concise. So people get um, the idea as quick as possible and then mix it with some B-roll footage. And with B-roll footage, obviously, this is gonna depend on the industry you are in. So for example, Jose, Jose can be speaking to an audience, for example, that could be B-roll footage he could use while he is presenting his unique solution, for example. Um, uh, if you are in the manufacturing industry as one of our customers, then okay, then just mix it with machines, mix it with different things. You know, it's, it's just kind of remember creating that experience. Then next, it's very important to show testimonials and testimonials here are gonna be, even if you don't have video testimonials of people saying, I love this, then just add the add written words. You can do that as well. It's important because the testimonials are the step that are gonna help people to build trust instantaneously, if you like. And last, let's conclude the video with a clear, clear call to action. So take people to do whatever you want them to do. If you want them to get in touch, just get in touch. If you want them to visit the website, visit the website. Be as well, be very clear, join our group, join our speak to speak to sell yourself at your business show. That could be the call to action. Herman, can, can I ask you a quick question when it comes to the B-roll? Because yeah. even, even today, when I, when I listen, when I hear the word B-roll, in my mind, I don't get a clear picture. So would you mind just expanding on what the B-roll is? And by now, I should know this inside out but then I don't. So I'm relying on you. Okay, maybe that's feedback for me. Maybe or, I haven't explained myself. Or very maybe well. I haven't, or maybe I haven't asked the question. So, hey, my responsibility okay. as well. Well, either way. <laughs> okay, well, that's a good question. B-roll, maybe it's kind of a, how would you say, like very specific word that is used into the videography world. And B-roll um, um, calls like to these different snippets different shoots of people just they don't need to have even the audio but for example they can be jose speaking in front of an audience that you were speaking for example or jose having a coaching session with a person so basically you're going to have creative shots in which jose is talking to the different person you're going to focus on jose you're going to focus on the other person or maybe 
as I said before, if it's manufacturing or if it's in an industry, you can introduce like images of the machines, images of the process, what's happening in the process. And, and there's and gonna Herman, be a voiceover. Can I, okay, so there's the be, okay. So it's, it's that all of that, the way I'm understanding it, all of that footage that you get in order to, well, in order to, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it, what, what we want in here is to like, while you are presenting your unique solution, you are bringing some images inside the head of people. So, okay. for example, I help okay. people to stand out, connect and deliver their greater message. And then you show somebody or you show yourself speaking to a big audience. That's going to help unconsciously people. And so it's going to go hand, hand in hand with the, with the message that you're sharing. So but instead it, of just sharing your face, we're going to share, let's say, external footage. It's not going to be the main message. So it's going to be images, images okay. that you may have from the past. Or if you, if you had me, for example, or a videographer, they are going to create a B-roll for you because they're going to need it to create in order to create an engaging video. And on the B-roll, okay, I get that now. It's kind of the slides for a speaker. If you want to have slides to illustrate points and things like that, it's also a way to populate. So instead of just me speaking, I'm giving more, you're giving more impact to my words through images and live, well, like live footage, if you like. I mean, live alive. So, you know, people can see me moving and things like that. Okay, I get it. And can I speak Sorry. on the B-roll? So it's B-roll. Is that considered B-roll as well? For example, if you do, you film me at an event and I'm speaking and you can hear me speak, is that also B-roll? Can that be considered B-roll? Even if I use my voice in there as well? That could be because, for example, on a show reel, what we would do is just grab all the different bits. So, for example, you're speaking in, in Sheffield, then you're speaking in somewhere else, and then in somewhere else, we can craft a message from the audio of all these different, uh, all these different presentations. So, yeah, that can be as well somehow B-roll. You can introduce that as a B-roll while you are using, well, you are following the, the main message, let's say. So normally B-roll is like without the voice, the voiceover of the main message, and then you introduce some visual images. So basically you play with a visual element of people while they're listening to the whole message and you are creating somehow that experience that I said before with the music in the background, with the different, um, transitions, effects, and so on. Um, okay, I think now, is it clear? That's, that's, yeah, that was very good. Thank you so much, because now in my mind, it's actually that, now I get it when we are out there filming and doing things for clients, when you say, I need more footage, more B-roll, that's what oh, you're doing in order, in order to make it more interactive. So, because otherwise you're looking at, you're watching a video of me just speaking here without that B-roll. But if her man actually gathers puts together all of that b-roll then it's like a, you're creating that film experience you're creating that story that journey in which it's not just me here but actually you're giving all of that greater impact which is impacting as well the unconscious and the conscious i love it. thank you so much i'm glad i asked you the question finally after five years working on this now, together uh, so hopefully now you're not you're gonna stop pushing me like okay herman move 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 we need to go move uh, i don't i don't do that anymore so don't don't play the victim let's carry on <laughs> i still love you okay um okay let's carry on uh, that's great that the question is solved already sorry i just opened the chat because i'm not sure if we've got any questions in here okay no okay okay well let me continue uh we don't have a question we have some comments in there from people thank you very much for everyone that is listening today and um I've got another structure that I could present. And this one is like a quick framework in which we could have a, let's say a good structure as well for a promo video. This is gonna be shorter, I would say, and quite easy to create. Basically, you need to answer these questions. Who are you? You give an introduction, who are you? And then you link straight away, I would say, who are you? And what do you do? They go kind of together. Then who? Who do you do it for? What is that potential audience? Who is your potential audience? Who would you like to watch that video and get in touch with you? So that's why you do. And here you can add some examples, again, as testimonials. So basically people 
you've worked with in the past. And the last one is so what? And this so what can be um, what's in it for them. So basically working with you, what's in it for them? What, what's the real deal behind? Um, this can be another framework, another structure that would work very nicely either for a show reel that we mentioned before and, or for a promo video. That could be another, let's say another way to use. And very important, do not forget, it's very important in order to create that whole experience that we've been talking about uh, during this whole presentation. Add a, a, a soundtrack that, it, that it's uplifting, that is, you know, boom, boom, that makes you feel something that goes along with, uh, like alongside the message. We need to play as well with that. Remember, auditive element, we need to play with that. We need to play with the visuals, with the, with the um, auditive as well. And then creative transitions and motion graphics, they are gonna be part of the visual experience. So basically transitions are gonna link from one B role that we mentioned to the main role again, and then come back to different scenes. For example, you can have transitions for screen, uh, for scenes. Um, and the motion graphics are gonna be text. So for example, text moving, appearing and coming back, you can have a text, a testimonial coming and then going, etc. Those are just simple ideas. But those are very important steps in order to create that video that is gonna be um, impactful. So we talk about that structure, how to create a bit, this would be maybe on the editing, but how do we create that professional, that professional footage, professional looking footage? Because here, do you remember the first King Kong handheld with the phone in vertical, let's say like this, and then we are very close to the camera. We don't have a light. So for example, look what happened if I take my light. I look weird, I've got the other light from there, but, and the screen here is giving me some light. But then that, that's not the way we want people to look at us. Oh, sorry, I just took the light. This is looking better. So we can plan everything before we are gonna jump into doing some filming. Uh, I told off Jose many times because now, now he's using his LED ring and all his lamps and everything. But before, before he, he wasn't taking that much care about it. And it's very important because people, they want to see the speaker. They want to see something clear. Well, I'm sure if you're not going to do it, or maybe you will at, at the end, all the different links that you have. And I think Rashmi, I may be ahead of the game as usual, Herman. Rashmi, uh, when we send the email to our listeners as well and to people who couldn't make it to watch the replay, let's add some of the links that I know Herman has got for the yep. kit, the, the professional uh, footage or filming kit, which is what I have. And it works really well because I've, I'm delivering sessions nowadays worldwide, as you know, Herman, and I'm using the kit you recommended with the mic. Well, I got the headphones. I, I, I decided the headphones, I decided to look for something funkier, but you know, okay. Well, over to you. Otherwise, I take over. You, you yeah. know me. I love it. <laughs> we will. Uh, that's a good idea. We will share that list. I've got it prepared already. So that's going to go on the email. That's very good. Thank you for bringing it, um, bringing it to the show. Um, we've got a comment in there just before continuing. OK, so we've got a question here from Luis. Uh, the question is, well, the big issue for most people, me included, <laughs> is that video editing is time consuming. It is. So the question is, how do you shorten the process and what are the best tools to use? Um, okay, Luis, I'm gonna answer this question at the end of the, at the, end of the, um, the presentation because we are kind of getting to an end. And with this, this uh, following slides, I'm gonna be explaining some, some of those things. So I'll come back to you. Um, okay, in order to create the, the footage, so how this is gonna help us right, to reduce that time, just plan ahead what you are gonna do, what you are gonna film. Just have your message clear, as clear as possible before you prepare anything else, because if you have rehearsed enough, then this is gonna come natural and you're gonna lose a lot less time in front of the camera trying to, uh, to perform and the message is not gonna go natural. It's not gonna come clear. So things to bear in mind, 
Oh, I sorry, I was about to cough. Lighting, lighting is the first one. Remember, so for example, if I take my light from here, that is not looking good. I've got lots of shadows. So basically if I take the screen from here, I would be dark. Have a clear, at least one point of light pointing at you. I've got it here like a 30 degrees. So basically this is a camera, 30 degrees more or less, it's coming line from the top. That could be an option, or if not just an LED ring that you put in front of you. We want to see the speaker. So it's very important that we can see the speaker. We don't want to see something dark in the, in the scene. And another thing to bear in mind is having screens or any windows, for example, in the background, uh, that's gonna, let's say that that's not gonna help to have a clear image of the, of the face of the speaker, of the speaker, because that's gonna be creating contrast and it's gonna be overexposing the, the scene. Lighting, summarizing, have a LED ring or a soft box or whatever you want, a source of light, pointing at your face. The second one, the audio. It's a very easy, I know we've got phones, phones they've got their own mic, but the mic has to be as close as possible to the mouth, obviously at, at a certain um, distance. So basically if we point this, as you can see, it's very close to my mouth. The audio is gonna catch is as clear as possible. It's gonna avoid any background noise that is around. We, we can, certainly do this by buying a lavalier mic that we can connect to our phone or as Jose did for example with his headphones those headphones ha have like a good microphone you can use as well that your airpods for example they kind of catch a good um, audio as well we want the voice to be as clear as possible uh, but audio so basically a voice that you can listen to a echo or the neighbor coughing etc cetera, etc cetera, that can take the whole video the whole experience down because if people cannot understand you then they're gonna lose engagement for sure and um, the other bit that is quite common sense but sometimes it's not because we tend to forget the background every time we're looking at a scene so for example look my background is what i've got in the back i don't have anything but a light pointing at the walls perfect it's not distracting it's maybe eye-catching the, the way that I've got the colors. So I've got contrast between my hoodie and the color in the background. But uh, if you don't have any of these, it doesn't matter. You can, you can select a white, a white, I mean, uh, select. You can choose a white wall, for example, or uh, if you have a nice desk, just organize it and, and have it in the back because that's gonna give some visuals. So it's gonna be part of that experience. Um, also, it's important the way we frame ourselves. We don't want to be framed like this, like, hey guys, how are you? Um, I'm Herman and I came here to present. Or I don't want to be like here, like, oh, hello guys. Well, this is my life. As you can see, it's in the background. Hey guys, I'm very excited today because I'm going to present this and that. This is not good. So basically, if you're going to be talking to people, like look them straight to the eye, be in the middle and as you can see if you divide this screen in in three horizontal um let's say thirds what i've got in there is like the rule of thirds so basically have your eyes your nose more or less has to be in the first third and that is a good framing be yourself in the middle and talk to people straight to the eye if you would like to recreate for example a interview then you just go to the right or to the left there, and then look slightly to a side. And then you will have this kind of angle of a, you're looking at the camera, you have that interview angle that we normally, we tend to see a lot in movies in series or in business videos. Those for the framing, um, rehearse and film. Once you've got everything ready, is that the moment in which you go and put yourself in front of the camera. So basically make sure at that point that you are in front of the camera, test. You can do some test videos to see if you are rightly framed, if you're filming yourself, if you don't have anyone else, just make sure that you are doing it right. Do some testing. And once you've got the position, just 
change the position, do some little marks on the floor. If you've got a chair, if you're gonna be sitting, if you're gonna be standing, mark the floor so you know where you need to stand, where you need to sit, where the chair is gonna to need to be. And I would say, I would say that just rehearse before you go in front of the camera and once once you're filming if you don't feel certain that what you what you've done is good just no worries just leave it running you're gonna have a, like a long piece of video but still maybe you got like you know three times you you presented the thing you rehearsed three times and maybe the last one is the good one so that's it you don't distract you don't lose um focus on what you're doing this is obviously if you are by yourself if you've got somebody else that can be managed uh, and on the post-production that's going to be well there are many different apps uh, many different uh, platforms in which you can edit your videos and for example if you're a mac user <laughs> um, if you're a mac user you've got imovie inside the the same mac or another platform for windows for example that uh, we used to use a lot is uh, Filmora, that those are platforms that will allow you to create something more professional than just simple apps on the phone, that sometimes they save a lot of time, but they don't get to give you all what you need, all the resources you need. And uh, iMovie or Filmora, for example, they've got music, they've got graphic motions, motion graphics, they've got transitions and everything ready for you just to upload, cut and do the different effects that you need to add. Those could be two, two of the tools uh, to use for post-production. Uh, post or as always, if post-production is something that is taking you loads of time, just go to somebody else. If you are able to film something that is looking very good, there are many people that can help you just to create that, that video up, um, from your footage. So that's another solution because it's time consuming. Yes, it is. I say it as a, as a professional that does the work. And some of the things to avoid, I think I've said it before, messy backgrounds. We don't want this. We don't want to be speaking in front of this. So having this in the background, that is no good. That is distracting. That can show as well that you are a disaster as a person. So we don't know what people can think. Uh, but for sure, if you have something that looks good, it's it's better for the eye. So you are going to be more relaxed, more calm. You're going to see organization, many different things that can come to mind. Dark scenes, again, what I said, if you don't have the right uh, lighting, the illumination is going to be similar to this. We are losing half of the half of the person. This is very creative, if you like. I like this picture, but is it for a promotional video? Not necessarily. Wrong framing. Again, we don't want this. We want to have in the first third, the third has to be around our nose. And then we're going to be framing as I am in the camera. That's good. Jose is well framed. Rashmi is well framed. Many people, they don't tend to do this. And it's very, very important. Low quality audio, again, if you, are, if you are not using the right tool, if you don't use the, the lavalier mic, then you are likely to get all that background noise, the neighbor coughing. That will certainly take the engagement down. Uh, people are likely to stop watching your video and just go to something else. Monotone editing. Obviously, the more we can do, the better with, with a purpose, obviously. If we just post videos like like this, like just talking, maybe they are gonna be a bit boring. They are not gonna create that experience. Maybe you're sharing super good information, but then the experience is gonna be, let's say, less engaging again. And I think, I don't know if you, <coughs> oh, I don't know if you've got any questions. I was about to jump on a quick summary after all of this. Uh, well, I, I got Luis. I don't know if your question was answered. Herman has given loads of details today. So Herman, fantastic. I mean, I think people watching this video on replay and you can watch it and watch it over and over. You can come up with great 
great content and filming and everything else if you have got the time. Luis, you have a point. It, it is time consuming and there are certain tools that can make it easier for you. But eventually, this is the question for you. And it's a question for me and it's a question to all of you as business owners, okay? Is how do you want to be perceived? As a speaker, which is one of the things I've been doing more and more, I started coaching, I still do the marketing, there are different things I do, but as a speaker, Herman created a video for me. So how do I want to be perceived? Do I want to be perceived as a 300 pounds speaker, then I may invest 300 pounds in a video? Or do I want to be perceived as a from 5K to 10K speaker, then that's actually the industry rule that's kind of what you're looking to invest in a video that will position you as such. Because what these guys are doing is they're just creating pretty much a film. Outsource it. Certain videos I would recommend you outsource if you want to be perceived as, you know, this high level. If your product is just 200, 300 pounds and that's how you want to keep it, then create a video around that. In the past, I used to work for a big corporate and some of the videos they were creating, you, will, you would watch the video and right away you would think of a small company, a cheap business, and it was huge. So what we did was to invest in professionals that could actually then showcase what the business was about. And what Herman has shared today is the essence. But then it comes the time. With speaking and video editing, I think there is the resemblance. And I don't remember who was, who this, uh, who's the person who said it. I think it was, it could have been Mark Twain. I always mix them up, their quotes. So people, I'm sorry. And it was the following. If I had more time, I would have made my speech shorter. If I had more time, I would have made my video shorter as well because of that content, that impact that you encapsulate in there. When you watch a film um, from beginning to end, you're fully engaged guess what they've done in the background, yeah? So there is a real science. There is an art and a science behind that. And then, of course, the person delivering the message, the practice you put into it, how you do it. So, yeah, that would be my take on that one. It is time-consuming. Certain type of videos I outsource to the other business that we have, and some others I do like this on Zoom because then I want to keep the content flowing regularly and then I can create certain things, but then the frame, the light in the audio is correct. So I Excellent. hope that helps. Herman, yeah, what was next for you? I think Luis said the answer was answered. Sorry, the question, the answer was answered. The question was answered. Okay, and Luis, thank you so much for being with us today. And the same with Ada and listening to Herman. This is going to be shared. So you're going to get the link as well to watch, rewatch. And please, as we always say, share this. If you know people that you believe can benefit from it, Invite them to join the community. We're doing this every Thursday and we are value driven. Herman, for you to wrap it up, buddy. Thank you very much. Um, your point was very, very good. It was a very good point. So basically, again, it all comes um, about the impressions, the impression we want to, we want to create. And I think you had a lot of uh, good points in there about the, about the whole experience. Because you are a customer, so you feel it as a customer, but also you're close to me. So, yeah, it's a interesting, interesting. Look, point. what 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 I'm sharing here is based on experience, as I said when we started the video, initially, and it also comes with the evolution as the person in front of the camera, because we all grow, we all learn. So the first videos I did with you, it wasn't necessarily your thing. It wasn't that I wasn't engaging enough. That's a different story. That you know then. That's a different conversation that we can, you know, speak about next time if you like. But now, as I said, Luis, for example, Herman created a video, the latest video. I'm happy to share it. Um, maybe, I don't know if Rashmi can find it. Well, I'm, I'm going to find it while Herman wraps up and I'm going to paste it. And this is the video, yeah, Luis, that, uh, as I said, when I started the conversation today, I sent that, only that, to one of the businesses that has been hiring me to deliver resilience training. I do mindset, resilience, and well-being, mental health. And I only sent that video. And they said, Jose, next year, we want to develop a program with you. And they started promoting it right away. And we already have a couple of promotional sessions scheduled. I only sent the video. And I think that's very powerful, being able just to send a video. Of course, there is a bit of a relationship before. But the video conveyed exactly what I did, how I did it, what's in it for the audience, and with the right B-roll, it positioned me as, as an authority in that field. And that's what you want in the end. 
Herman, over to you. I'm going to look for that video. I'm going to paste it here as well. Yeah, it, it triggered the action. And the action was that, that call to action. You achieved it. So it, what you wanted, you achieved it. And that's possible as well uh, because of your performance, obviously. Uh, sometimes we cannot do magic. The, the speaker has loads to do as well in, in that video. So that's why you presenting, it's important. And the way you present is that kind of that X factor that you are on the video. That is what's really connecting as well with people with the whole experience. And okay, I just uh, go to the quick summary. And basically what I wanted to share here, it was like, again, it's all about perception. We're creating that impression. The video is gonna create an impression online and we want it to be as, <clears throat> as good as positive, um, sorry, as good as possible, as positive as possible, as impactful. Um, that is kind of your online business card. It's what you can share as Jose did. Jose, instead of sending a CV, he sent the video and look what he's got. That is, that is kind of the online business card thing that I'm bringing today. Uh, that speak by itself. Jose sent again, let's put that video. Jose sent the video and then people understood what he does, how he does, how he performs. And they got interested because they said, okay, this guy has got that X factor that we need for our presentation. That is a good example. And short and sweet. The, let's say the length is going gonna, is gonna to come because as I said before, we can have a movie that is two hours long and then we are engaged since the very beginning to the end. What happened in there? Because they achieved to get the whole message cool. They play with the B-roll. They play with the audio. They play with the music. They play with the sound effects. They play with everything. They play with our minds. They create that experience. Short and sweet. Just, I would recommend don't go further than two minutes, three minutes max, because you're going to need lots of information to make a three minute video very engaging and powerful. You're going to need the, the content. If you have it, hey, go ahead. Don't go too far with the length. And, and I think that's it. My next question. Where would you start creating your videos? Woo. Yeah. Well, yeah. every day, people, every day, content is king. And I, I would say every day we should, well, we should. I would invite everyone to be putting information out there that solves and addresses the different problems your audience has. There is going to be, I'm not too sure about what we're going to be speaking in two weeks' time, but there might be a combination of, about the message that how to craft it and how to address the different problems our audiences have, and then the different channels that we can use, video being one of them. I'm, I'm in two minds. Cool. Herman, how can people get in touch with you if, they, if they're watching this? Well, today for Luis and uh, Eda and everyone else, the other Jose, and people watching a replay, if they want to get in touch, okay, they can scan that. Fantastic. Rashmi, would you please put, um, paste uh, Herman's link as well for people to book a strategy call? Exactly. Well, either any of them, you've got the link in there. That's going to be shared, I guess, uh, via email. And if not, if you're here, you can scan the code. You're going to get a link to a dive deep call with me. And then we can discuss whatever is your need uh, regarding video creation. So maybe you've got some footage that you want to edit. Then, hey, let's discuss it. I need and, help doing something. Let's discuss it as well. And I know you've been also providing a, a coaching around this. So it's not just the filming that you do. There is also some coaching that I know some of our clients have benefited from. Yeah, as well, because uh, sometimes I'm, I'm not able to go and film. So uh, I'm encouraging, encouraging as well people to, to start filming themselves because they can create good footage. And so, for example, I've been working with a lady... Um, in America, so okay. she needed she needed some help, and and that's fine. I gave her the help I uh, she needed in order to create, giving them the tools, giving her the tools, and giving them th these insights that I share with you. Like obviously deeper, uh, diving deeper and helping her just to set up all the scene. Uh, I, didn't, framing. I didn't know I didn't know about that that client. So am I getting a commission for that client over in America? Is that a different discussion? <laughs> Okay, we'll, we'll, talk, we'll, we'll talk about it later. We'll, okay. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. But th that is great because then people can reach out to you. It's not just a film. You can help them set it all up. And I know we also have the service in which people can send us the, 
the 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 b-roll and the footage and everything else and then we can by the way if i say footage b-roll is it the same thing or is it different well the footage you can the footage is the general one that includes okay. everything yeah everything so and then the b-roll is how you're going to okay i think that that question is good that you clarify that because people okay. providing things then they can understand well but i sent you my footage i sent you my recording yes but then we need more additional shots in order to recreate that better exactly we would <clears throat> we will talk about that in the in the deep dive call uh, about which are the needs so what would we need in order to create that video that okay. engaging well, video yeah I, I already have a video in mind for next year so we'll talk about it this saturday when we meet and herman it's been okay. a pleasure thank you very much also thank people remember much. that herman covers all of this and then i get involved in everything that has to do with the message how you communicate it how you craft it and then together herman puts things in a storyboard and that is fantastic so i'm really i'm really keen on on speaking about this because it is very helpful and herman started doing the storyboards and then when i submit my ideas to him he comes back with just the illustrations and everything and it's just like okay yeah that's what i want or that's not what i want anyway exactly. um rambling a little bit Luis people thank you so much Eda everyone else Herman thank you very much for being with us today thank you for joining the speak to sell yourself on your business show people reach out to us also with regards to topics you would like us to cover next time Luis if you've got anything top of mind right now that you would like to address and you believe Herman myself the community could help then let us know drop us a message drop us a message here um, you can you are part of the Facebook community as well and suggest topics or say how about you cover this next time and then i can prepare i can plan it and if i don't know it because it's not within my area of expertise i'm bringing in experts as well just like i brought her money in today next week we're going to have ben ivy he's an international speaker and he's conquered china that's how i like to see it because he's been doing incredible things there he speaks fluent mandarin also so he's going to be touching on how to land speaking gigs at an international level you see so we're going to be bringing more people and we're going to carry on growing the community. So have a wonderful day, everyone. Herman, thank you so much. Rashmi, Luis, Jose, thank you much. everyone else that were with us in the call before we started. Big kiss. And I'll see you all very soon. Thank you, guys.